So what's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what sink you should be using, what sink is, and so you can guys can stop wasting time on playing with these settings so you can actually develop some type of consistency to get better with your Zim. So if you guys like this video, if it helped you, please like and subscribe, comment below for any other questions, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Let's get into it. So what sync to use? Okay, first, what is sync? Sync is synchronization. It synchronizes your game with the Zim Apex it's mouse rate. So it tries to sync them together, which is kind of hard because a lot of video games support 60 or it might even just fluctuate a lot. But I think 60 is the close, the close range. 60 and 30 will be the closest ranges but so we got synchronize off default common and slow so we're going to be going over all four of these synchronizations for your Zam apex so right off the bat i'm gonna get on slow so slow synchronization it increases aim assist each synchronization has an effect on aim assist now, slow would most likely give you the most aim assist, but it also gives you the most delay. So, off the bat, me personally, I'm going to eliminate slow because I don't want any delay. I want the least amount of delay. That will improve your reaction time and all that good stuff. So, then we have common, which is apparently 60 frames per second. But... You still get some delay on common, but you still get a nice amount of aim assist. So it's kind of like a balance. Now, before common, on Zim 4 and some previous Zims, most everybody was using default because there wasn't an option to change it from default. So default is definitely one of the best synchronizations you can use. So in my mind, from the Zim data, you're pretty much going to be using either default or common when it comes to sync. Now, synchronize off is a special case. Now, let's get into synchronize off. So, synchronization off is the fastest option you can actually choose when it comes to the response time. There's no cap on your response, and it sends the data straight through Zim as fast as it can now the problem with that is that when you do that it affects the sensitivity ranges this number here this number here i'm playing on four but i would have to multiply that by eight to even play on sync off and the sensitivity will be way higher now the thing about sync off is you don't want to play with a sensitivity over 50. Now, the reason why you don't want to do that is because when you start to go above this value, you start to get, you start to lose micro precision, I would say, micro aim precision. If you don't know what micro aim precision is, micro aim precision is the ability to make small movements and small adjustments when you're trying to hit that little bitty millimeter headshot. You want that on point. So, that's the reason why you don't want to go over 50 now to use sync off you will have to use a high dpi in my opinion for it to be usable you need a really high dpi i'm talking twenty thousand plus the ideal amount will probably be somewhere between thirty thousand and forty thousand dpi which we are nowhere near close right now but i am rocking a twenty thousand dpi and i can easily play with sensitivities as low as 40 between 40 and 50 and yeah and it feels really nice it actually feels really nice when you play like that so then we have we have smoothing these this adds delay so i never use smoothing there's a lot of things that add delay i basically eliminate all of the delay so off will have the least amount of delay default will have a balance of aim assist while still giving you great micro movement common will give you even better quality micro movement i think common actually has the best quality micro movement so common and default 
is the most likely synchronizations you will be using at these current times. So if anybody was confused about what sync to use, this is probably your best choices right here. If you use slow, now these syncs react different to different games because every game is different. But in most games, common will work perfect and default will work perfect. As long as you adjust your sensitivity to what you feel, it should work perfectly fine. So that is what sync is. And over here, we see it is recommended to play on common if your game supports 60 frames per second, such as Call of Duty, Battlefield, Overwatch, and Halo. So they recommend to, to play on common. I would never play on slow, even if the game is Destiny. Because I just wouldn't. It's just the reaction time is too low. Even if the aim assist does increase. But generally, the faster your reaction times become with Zim, the less aim assist you get. So, that's pretty much how it works. Use smoothing to reduce subtle jitter. I've never experienced any crazy amount of jitter. So I never had a reason to use it. But if I did, I would probably just get a new mouse to eliminate the jitter. Because I don't want any delay. Other than that, this is pretty much the gist of the sync. So I'm rounding it up to default and common as the best two syncs. Common if you want more aim assist and more aim quality default if you want more reaction time and a slight slightly less aim assist i personally use common right now i found i used to use default a lot but i'm finding myself starting to move over to common so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like this video, if it helped you, please like, subscribe, and that's it.